let's look at diagnosing and troubleshooting and or proving it, uh, our Tesla battery coolant heater is working. First of all, where's that thing at? It's way back in there. I'll zoom in so you can see and turn our light on. It's the thing with the orange high voltage cable on it and the black bracket. Now to know if it's working or if you're having an issue with something else like one of the one, two, three, or four, in the case of a dual motor vehicle car, uh, coolant pumps or some of your valves, there's other ones around here as well, um, we do a couple of things. First, let's take a look at the really easy one. Now it's a cold day out, so the battery pack is, is cold. We're going to tell the car to precondition. If I open up my Tesla app, I just tell it to, oops, yes, precondition. We'll see the battery heater um, icon pop up here in a few seconds. Additionally, what we can do is on the screen itself, we can tell the car to navigate to a supercharger. Now, what those two things are going to do is the car is going to look at what the temperature of the battery pack is and what the temperature of the coolant is and it's going to it's going to make a determination should we use the battery coolant heater to heat up the battery coolant and thus the battery pack um, or do we not need to do that note that the hvac heater known as a ptc heater is different than the heater that's used for the battery coolant system while we're waiting for the car to recognize that it needs to use the battery coolant heater zero to 60 year way on over like a tesla model s with the ludicrous speed to the like and subscribe button the other way that we're gonna know that the battery coolant heater is working is we're gonna go into the uh, scan my tesla app it's initializing is what we're seeing down here and we're gonna watch a couple of things first we're gonna watch this coolant heater number we're going to also watch the coolant heater outlet temperature. But you can also look at things like your battery pump 1, 2, and powertrain pump 1, and if you have dual motor 2, to see what percentages they're at. Are they indeed functioning? Um, you can look at a whole bunch of really great data in the Scan My Tesla app, and so I highly recommend using that. What we're going to look for is that icon, the battery heating preconditioning icon, the to go on ahead and, and pop up um, and tell us that yes, we are heating the battery pack, but we're gonna want to stay on, steady, not turn on for 10 seconds or so and shut off for a few minutes and then turn back on and shut back off. And what we'll see in the Scan My Test Lab is that battery coolant heater not stay at 0%, but it'll go up to 100%. And then we'll also see fairly quickly the coolant heater outlet temperature begin to rise from somewhere in the 50s as it is right now all the way up to over 100 117 target battery active heating uh, 104 okay so now on our app well in the schema test app our coolant heater went to 100 percent you see our kilowatts on the thermal controller increase. Let's watch that, um, both the battery inlet temperature and the coolant heater out outlet temperature. Oh, look, see how it's rising, rising, rising. And the fact that the coolant heater is staying at 100% while the temperatures are rising fairly rapid rapidly is a good sign. When your battery coolant heater is having a problem, what you're gonna see is the icon in the app for uh, heating the battery, those three little orange squiggly lines. And you'll see coinciding with, if you have the Scan My Tesla app and the OBD adapter uh, plugged in, you'll see the coolant heater turn on to 100% and then turn off after about 10 seconds. So corresponding with the, uh, the notifications you're seeing on the screen and, and in your Tesla app. And then you'll see it turn back on and turn back off and turn back on and turn back off. The fact that staying on steady and check it out, our coolant heater outlet temperature has risen now almost to 100 degrees.